What's up everybody, this is Matty Mo, and today we're talking about whether or not you need an antivirus program on your smartphone. So you probably have an antivirus program on your PC, or at least you should have one. And you're probably thinking whether or not you should have one for your smartphone too. Especially with all the hacking and data breaches such as the iCloud leak and Sony hack, you probably figure that you want to keep all your favorite cat pictures as safe as possible. But the big question is, do you actually need one for your smartphone as well? And the answer is yes, no, and sort of. And let me tell you why. First, viruses and malware exist for your smartphone. I know, newsflash. But it doesn't matter if you're an existing iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, or Blackberry user, your phone is susceptible to viruses. As long as you're connected to the internet, you've already become a target. But here's the thing, if you download all your apps from the Play Store or App Store, you only have a .001% chance of getting a virus or some form of malware. Now the second thing is the App Store security. To have an app approved on Google's Play Store, it has to go through seven levels of security. If it doesn't pass any of those levels, it's not getting approved. And the same holds true for the Apple's App Store. Also, a lot of people think that Android users have an easier time of getting infected. And it's because Google gives Android users the option to download apps that are not from the App Store if they really want to. Apple users don't get this opportunity. Anything that they use on their iPhone has to be downloaded from the App Store unless the phone is actually jailbroken. Now hold on iPhone users, don't think you're better off than Android users all because you don't jailbreak your device. The iPhone may not be as big of a target as Android, but that doesn't mean you can't be hacked. In in fact, Symantec did a study in 2013 and found out that the Apple's iPhone was susceptible to 387 different vulnerabilities compared to Android, which only had 13. That's a pretty big difference. And it's not surprising, especially with the big iCloud hack that happened recently. Now you're probably scared and worried and fear that you may be hacked if you don't go out and install an antivirus program on your smartphone right now. And to be honest, that's exactly what companies such as Norton and McAfee want you to be. Scared. They make big bucks selling antivirus software and the PC market is not as fast paced as it used to be. The use of smartphones has exploded and it's a brand new market for these antivirus companies to tap into. There's no better way to do it than by scaring you. So here's the bottom line. Don't waste your money on paid antivirus programs from Norton or McAfee. They're really not that great, and there are even better free alternatives out there. The program I use personally is called 360 Mobile Security. It has a 99.9% .9 detection rate, it's lightweight, fast, and really well designed, and even scans and fixes system vulnerabilities. It also helps your phone run a lot more efficiently. Now, if you don't want to install 360 Mobile Security, there's other great options out there. Another one that I recommend is Avast, which also has happens to have a PC version. I'm sure a lot of you have actually used it or have heard of it because the program happens to be free for PC as well. But here are some simple rules to follow before downloading any app on the App Store. Read the reviews. Good reviews most likely means it's a good app. Second, don't download an app that is not from the Play Store unless you know 100% it's from a trusted source. And finally, read the permissions before the app is installed. You wanna make sure there is nothing invasive being installed on your smartphone. And that's it for whether or not you should install an antivirus program on your smartphone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so so you can get updates on more awesome videos like this one. And I'll see everybody in the next one.